Welcome back everyone, my name is Last No Meal, and today I'm going to talk about The Witcher, well, mostly about one topic. Did The Witcher 3 really change how we view RPGs and video games in general? Now, as much as I do agree with that, and I definitely believe that The Witcher 3 is one of the best RPGs I've played in my life, and definitely a game that revolutionized the genre of RPGs as we know today, the genre of fantasy in a video game. Still, it's far more complicated than that. Now, before I start explaining myself, let me go back to The Witcher 3. Now, when it came out, the amount of detail that game had, when it came to storytelling, when it came to characters, when it came to all the things you could do in that game, how it immersed you in the world of the witchers, of politics, of magic. It was so amazing and it's definitely one of the most defining video games that came out in the last decade. But still, The Witcher is not the only game that changed the game. Um, before it, there was a lot of RPGs that did that, for example, Oblivion, Skyrim, Gothic and a bunch others that resulted in RPGs of today because from time to time you're going to have a video game that is going to do something revolutionary, that is going to do something great, that is going to define the genre in the future. For example, when Gothic 1 came out, the faction system in that game was just amazing. It changed how I view at RPGs, because in Gothic 1, you had to join a certain faction in order to progress through the game. You had to either join the Swamp Camp, Old Camp, New Camp to progress through the game. And as you join a faction, you actually start getting benefits from it, like the new armor, new weapons, everything. But the amount of things you needed to do to gain their trust, to join a faction, was so good because when you actually do join a faction after some time, it feels so fulfilling, it feels so good. And that whole series, like going from Gothic 1, 2, and 3, changed how I view RPGs because Gothic 3, when it came out all these years ago, was definitely. The Witcher 3 of today. Now, of course, Gothic 3 had problems. It had a lot of problems, far more than The Witcher 3 had. But still, how big that world was, the graphics, everything in that game, in Gothic 3, the amount of things you needed to do, the quests, the everything, was so good, was so amazing. The soundtrack, everything, it was, it was first time ever when I played the game that I was like, holy shit, it's like I'm in a movie. Because it was all up to standards. Now, of course, as I said, it had problems. Even to this day, the only patch that fixes a bunch of problems in that game is a community one. But um, that game, for me, defined the RPGs of today. And you can see that in every series, in The Witcher, in Gothic, everything they did defined how the, the next game is going to look like. And everything there that resulted in the creation of The Witcher 3, for example, clearly defined the RPG genre. And that game, as I said, it did so many things that it was, it was just amazing, it was breathtaking, because how you bond with the characters, every character you meet, the storytelling, it's one of the best storytelling in the video game ever, period. Um, it was so great, and that is why I consider it to be one of the most defining video games when it comes to the genre, but still, as I said, it's not the only one, then you have Oblivion, for example, Skyrim, the, 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 the fantasy world of Oblivion was... I mean, I enjoyed that game so much and all the things that game offered 
clearly resulted in the making of the future RPG video games. So it's really hard to only say this game changed the industry and this game only, because it didn't. There, there were a lot of video games, not just in uh, the genre of RPGs. You had this, those in first-person shooters, in uh, MMO RPGs. I mean, World of Warcraft changed the how we view MMO RPGs. So there was a lot of video games before that that changed the game, and you know, in the results, all the future video games took something from it to create another revolutionary game. So in the future, hopefully, we're going to get another RPG which is going to do something incredible, which is going to do something revolutionary, that's going to uh, define this whole genre. So yes, putting it only on The Witcher, well, still, it's an amazing game, but The Witcher is not the only game that did that. So, don't think I hate the game, I, I think I clearly defined how much I love it, so uh, yeah, but um, we have to be realistic here. I have to view all the things before I say, hey, this game is the only one that did that. No, it didn't. So yes, I do believe in the future we're gonna have more games, hopefully, that are going to revolutionize how I see this genre, and in the past we had them, so uh, still, I'm just glad that um, we do have those games that uh, just offer something we haven't seen before. So this was just my short opinion on this topic, I hope it wasn't too complicated or I don't know, because I, sometimes I'm, I'm not that eloquent, so it's really hard for me to explain things that's simple and usually people don't understand me, but um, I hopefully did that in this video. And um, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button down below and comment down below which is a game that um, changed how you view RPGs. Now yes, I am well aware that there's a bunch of games in the past that um, define the genre because this genre had to find its place in the video game industry. It wasn't easy, but um, in the end it did and I know I'm sweating like crazy because it's so hot in my room. It's like 200 degrees in Europe right now. So uh, yeah, do all those things as I said. So comment down below and tell me and last no meal signing out. Stay classy everyone and bye bye.